It's easy to talk about all the things going on here at the Shortgrass Theater in Hobart. They put on three productions a year, and it's a great community theater. But there are some things going on here that's not so easy to talk about or explain. I'm talking about Charlie, the ghost who haunts the theater. Well, there's Charlie and a little boy who has been seen here, too. The most recent eerie encounter with Charlie comes from a broken picture frame. Kathy Langford and another lady walked up to the landing and saw the picture laying on the floor broken. They wondered how it had fallen off, and the specific picture was of a production called Curious Savage. Now combine that with a headstone that was found years ago in the theater with the name Charles Savage on it, and that's why this ghost goes by the name of Charlie. I laugh about it because it's, some of the stories are funny and you can't help but laugh. I am, I, I do think that it is haunted in here because of what I've heard. Um, coming up here at night, yes, it is scary. Um, especially when the lights aren't on because you have to walk plum clear across the stage to get the lights on and you have to go in the dark unless you have a flashlight. So it is kind of eerie coming in here. Um, I came in here one night and um, again to measure the chairs and the second time we came in here um, the curtains on the stage were closed and I was the last one here and the curtains were open and um, when I got here the curtains were closed and I could not walk down there and I left. When it comes to Charlie, some think this is him on the wall. This has been here for a while and has been painted over many, many times over the years, but it always shines through. Now, the building itself was built around 1912 and has been a city hall, a funeral home, and now the fire department. They have bays where they keep the trucks and some of the firemen have heard noises up here in the playhouse bowling balls roll, sounds like bowling balls rolling across the stage. Um, one said that there was a little boy in the bay wearing knicker pants running around the fire trucks and he chased the child and the child was gone. Um, things disappearing, noises, mainly noises up here in the, in the theater that they can't explain. Liz Lamb used to work as a police dispatcher downstairs and she had several encounters with Charlie. And it just got to be a a thing where if things started disappearing, you, Charlie, I've got work to do. I don't have time to play tonight. Leave me alone. And usually it would kind of calm down. But if you went to Dodlin, Charlie'd show up. There are those who believe some of the strange occurrences can be explained by the fact that some of the children killed in the 1924 Christmas Eve Bapswich schoolhouse fire were brought to this building. Either way, it's difficult to explain what many, many people have seen and experienced here. Everyone has their own unique story, but one thing is sure, the ghosts seem to be working hard to keep this a community theater. In Hobart, I'm Dean O'Lally.